Sarah. From the moment I met you, I knew you were special. But little did I know over the next three and a half years, I would grow closer to you than anyone else I've ever met. My sweet Nick, I remember that first night when you came around the corner in your Red Sox jersey to take me on our first date. I remember talking for hours and feeling like I had known you my whole life. Two people that love one another unconditionally, and in times where people were growing apart, we grew closer. I felt like I was safe and protected by you. Every moment and memory we have shared is a moment that I cherish in my heart. I'm beyond blessed to say that I get to marry my best friend in the love of my life. Before that first day, I prayed for you. I prayed for the man that you would become, and I prayed for the future we would share together. The Lord God said, It is not good for a man to be alone. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed it in its place with flesh. <laughs> the Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. And when he brought her to the man, the man said, This one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This day is the beginning of our new adventure together as husband and wife, and I cannot wait to see what life holds for us in this new chapter. Sarah, you've gained a soulmate, adventure buddy, and someone who will support you for life. It has truly been an honor standing by your side today, and I wish y'all all the best. To Mr. and Mrs. Reynolds. Sarah and Nick, today we celebrate you. We wish you a lifetime of happiness, love, health, success, and laughter. May you always find humor in the bad, appreciation for the good. May you both grow together in the years to come, and may God continue to bless your marriage, your family, and your futures. <laughs>